Hi guys, Luna here. Today I'm going over the latest info for PUBG Xbox One in the form of our second weekly community post. It's a feature seen already for the PC community and something we hope to see more of here on the Xbox. I'm going over what new info, if any there is, in the post, plus talking a little bit about community events. Where are our rewards from last week? If today's video is helpful, take a second to like, a share, or dislike. Either way, the feedback is super useful. Now, it's no secret PUBG Corp struggled to give us news on the game on console, and today we have what's hopefully the start of regular weekly community updates for the game, which will provide us with more info on what's being worked on and what's the scoop on features we really want to see. I was a little concerned we wouldn't get them weekly, as it's not the first time we've been promised weekly stuff and it didn't happen, but so far, so good. Let's take a look at the post then. It starts off by saying, Hello everyone, we want to thank everyone for the feedback from last week's update, both positive and negative. Each of these community posts are intended to give more visibility on what we're working on, and we will continue to address player questions and concerns. While there are no new hotfixes this week, we are currently working on a patch that will improve and resolve any of the current issues, which we hope to deploy by next week. Keep an eye out for more information as we get closer. No new updates or hotfixes for this week then, but they are working on one hopefully for next week, which is good. Also, they thanked us for the feedback, good and bad, on the latest update. The latest update I feel was a decent one for once. Not perfect, but it certainly didn't make the game worse like it usually does, and for me anyway, I haven't had a single crash since the June patch. I'm sure some of you guys will have different experiences, but overall I found it to be a good one. The first question answered today was in regards to map selection, and with it being taken down from PC, I honestly thought we wouldn't see it. I don't know how the coding differs on PC and Xbox, but essentially on PC, map selection caused an exponential increase in player pools, meaning in basic terms it was becoming impossible to find matches. But for Xbox One, here is what PUBG Oreo has to say. Our current plan is to have map selection available by late summer or early fall. The final date isn't confirmed quite yet as we're putting extra focus into improving performance first. We know this is a feature that many of our players want to see, so it is high on our list to implement on Xbox as soon as possible. Map selection is still on track to be released on Xbox One then. Next, what are they doing to fix problems of character position readjustment, i.e. rubber banding? Rubber banding happens when there's a conflict between a player's location client side versus the server side. When this happens, the player's location is forced to the last position the server confirmed the map. Visually, this looks like the player is teleporting back to a previous position. Simply put, the strange server thinks you should be somewhere else than you're currently seeing yourself and moves you to that position. This happens mostly in the early game as the server is at higher load while trying to handle the location of all 100 players. To remedy this, they're working on a server-side update which should improve the handling of players' locations and the resources that the task requires. So a nice little explanation there of what exactly rubber banding is and what they plan to do to fix that. Our final part of this community post, which is probably the biggest part of it, is all to do with hit registration. Hit registration issues come from different sources and these are the main ones that they're working on based on reports from players. The first one is no limb penetration. PUBG calculates damage differently depending on where on the body a player is hit, such as feet, legs, arms, and hands. Different parts of the body have different modifiers for how much damage reduction, with limbs causing less damage than body and head. And this often leads to causes where a shot is fired and would hit a target's head, but instead hits the target's hands or arm as they raise their weapon to aim down the sights. From the shooter's point of view, they nailed their headshot and reported the case as a bug. The main culprit here though is that bullets do not penetrate limbs in the game right now. To fix this, they will be introducing limb penetration, which will calculate whether there are any body parts behind the shot limb and calculate the damage as if it hit the more vital area. While they do want to implement that as soon as possible, they're currently working on optimizing the limb penetration system to reduce the resources it uses, so there is no negative effect on performance or gameplay, and when that does roll out, they will be working on limb penetration more. The second issue with hit registration is to do with desync. And that is when players take damage after cover has been taken or when there's no clear line of sight. This is due to ping difference with the players and the server. And that mostly happens because the physical location of the two players. For example, you might be located in North America and the other player might be located in Europe. And so that's why it's important to stick to your region. Of course, not everyone has servers in their region and players who are closer to the servers in their region will have higher ping. And it's also difficult for European players right now because we don't have any first person servers. So a lot of us are playing on the North American servers. But that is the issue for desync. The final one is just general hit registration bugs, especially where players shoot a target and no damage is applied 
Although this is extremely difficult to replicate in control conditions, they are working hard to find the reproduction steps so that they're able to find the cause of the issue and fix it. So the main issues right now with hit registration are the bugs, desync, and the fact that there's no limb penetration, and they are working to resolve that, although I wouldn't expect it to be anytime soon that it will be fixed. For me personally, I don't really have much issue with this, but if others do have it, then I guess it is worth trying to fix it. Other than this, guys, PUBG Aureo simply asks that if anyone has any of the following bugs, grenade arc, and either the invisibility or teleport bugs, to make sure that you do a bug report, as finding the cause of bugs is mostly done by you guys reporting them, and so the more people do that, the better, and the quicker they will be fixed. But that is basically all of the info from this week's community post. And now we'll go over what we get in next week's one when we get it. This week also saw the start of the Snipe City community event. Using the Car 98 or the N24, get 400,000 kills. If you do, then you'll be rewarded with the tank top and padded jacket. All you need to do is take part in the event and you don't actually need to get a kill to get the rewards. So that is this week's community event. You guys will already know about that most likely. But I think the thing I want to mention in this one is why you haven't got last week's rewards yet. Well, according to the devs, it's simply down to the fact that they had way more data than they anticipated for the event and that it's taking longer than expected to process that data. So the rewards will be given as soon as they have processed that info. They promised it this week. I don't know if that will happen, but when they do finally process it, your rewards will be given to you guys. If that's the case, I'm expecting the rewards for the new event to also be late in receiving them, but we will find out when it finishes. Guys, that is pretty much it for today's PUBG video. I want to know your thoughts in the comments on everything I talked about. Map selection, rubber banding, hit registration. Are these the things you want the PUBG devs to be working on right now, or should they focus on something else? like improving controls and proximity chat, leave your comments below. If you want to see similar videos, the links on screen will help you get there. You can also subscribe to our community here to see more PUBG and Battle Royale content. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.